Hey, welcome to Inside Tricky Nikki Sword with, with of course, your host, Tricky Nikki. This is a made up name. I searched all around Google and stuff. Trust me, there is no other name I, I've seen. So, so, you know, this is a first for Inside Tricky Nikki Sword. Now, 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 you know, in these episodes, uh, I give you a word from the from the actual sword of the spirit. I take you inside the actual sword, the, the actual sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and I, I take you into a passage. Now I, I help you uh, understand what it is and, and like and like how it can apply to your life. You know the actual Bible has you know more than has you know different interpretations to it. One there's called the the actual allegorical interpretation. That's like if you're trying to interpret symbols and stuff. And, the, and then there's the actual anagogical interpretation. That's as if, if you're cross-referencing between two words or two verses or something like that. And then there's the more the actual literal interpretation, which is like this is what it says. This is, this is what it says exactly. And then there's the actual moral interpretation which is what it's morally saying. What the actual word of God is can do for you. That's that's where you know our faith, you know, our, our faith would come from a hearing and hearing the word of God. After you hear hearing this this message today, I, I sure hope you you actually get a digest of what I'm trying to say here. Now the actual topic I, I want to like to discuss with you today is righteousness and holiness and like I mean I mean peace and holiness and like how that's important in in, in our witness for for you know we are our witnesses of Christ and it's very important that you know people see God through us so let me let me take you to Hebrews 12 14 it says the King James follow peace with all men in holiness without which no man shall see the Lord looking diligently lest any men fell of the grace of God lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble tr tr trouble you and therefore many be defied defy. now it's very easy to like say that you know in, 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 the, in the actual first verse of this uh, of these two verses that it, you know that you know that you know without holiness no man shall see the Lord we can say that it's very easy to to like make a judgment that okay if we're not holy enough we're not going to see God we're not going to go to heaven if we're not holy enough that's not what it's saying here and I and I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, as I explain this I'll show you why it's not saying this it says follow peace with all men and holiness for, for, for without which no, no one shall see the Lord let me check that real quick You see, if you if you're going to be a witness for Christ, you're going to have to 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 like be able to follow peace with all men. That that that, that you know the, the Bible makes it very clear here in Romans chapter 12 and verse 18. It, it says you know it's possible to be, be at peace with all men. In, in, Hebrew, in, in, in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14 it says, "And put on the feet of." Uh, the gospel of peace. And this, 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 this is not saying the actual gospel itself. You know, the, the gospel of grace, which is we, we, we the gospel of the world that we get, we get, we get God's only only son. It's not saying that. It's saying the gospel of peace, the good news. All gospel means is good news. So the actual good news of peace. So what you need to do every single morning when you, when you put your armor on, put your shoes on and, 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 and be able to walk in the peace. God has it's already made in your life. Be able to walk in peace with everybody, and when you do that, I can guarantee you that you know people are going to start noticing something about you. It's you know it's very you know the 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 actual shoes are, are not talking about the gospel, as in the gospel of grace, talking about the gospel of peace. So. It's a, it's very important to like pursue peace with all people. You know, even Jesus mentioned it. If someone slaps on one cheek, slap them on the other. You know, 
do, do not recommend evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. And the most important thing to do with that was peace. And peace is one of the fruits of the spirit. So if if people see the fruit of the spirit, peace, then then they're going to see God in you. Okay, next up, holiness. Throughout throughout the Bible, God mentions holiness. It's not has not has nothing to do with your righteousness. Has something to do with holiness and how how you live towards God. The Bible says in Hebrews in Romans twelve one. It says to like, live as a, as a godly sacrifice, as a sacrifice unto God. That 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 that, 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 that means submit your life to Him. Do what He says. Accept His promises and have faith in God that He can do whatever He wants. And, 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 and when you do that, you, 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 you will start noticing God when He souls around you, when He when He more so. He, around you because he's actually using you more because you're more submitted to him you know God God uses those who who, who are submitted to him and everything and if you're not living holy and if you're not living in peace how can God be be nothing through you it's in my life I, I backslid when I was I didn't backslid but kind of but I kind of told dirty jokes and like went off on a phase when I was sophomore year. And people stopped seeing me as a Christian. They they just kept on seeing me as a joke master, and that's all I was was a Bible reader. And I, I learned I learned the lesson the hard way. It's important to live holy. In the actual in the actual next verse, if which which comes after a colon of the previous verse, and when there's a colon, that means that you know the 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 actual second part of what comes after. The actual colon is bears importance of the first statement. So, in this in this in this next statement, it says, "Do not let any root of bitterness, lest you be defiled, lest they be defiled." The, all this is saying is, if you don't operate in peace, bitterness will will, will come up, and and if bitterness comes up, and it, it shoots out that at, at people, it, it will turn many people away from God. Many Christians don't realize that at their work, if they have a bad attitude and they're bitter and stuff, they don't realize that that they're you know turning more people away from God. They don't realize they're doing that. This is what what this verse is saying: Let less many people be defiled. How 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 they being defiled? Well, you know, their the actual bitterness, you know, attitudes can change, be contagious. And if you're having a bad day and you're being bitter, they're going to be bitter, and they and they're going to miss out on the grace of God. And this is what it's saying here. Now, if there's any of you today that, that you know, needs prayer for anything, I'd be more than happy to like pray for you. Just you know, let me know on Facebook, or you know, or let me know through email at trickymickeycurs at gmail dot com. If you need any, 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 if you want to be, uh, need help being a better witness, I can help you. And, and, and also, the Bible can help you. Just read your Bible and pray. Just just stay in the Word of God. And stay in an attitude of prayer. The Bible says to like pray without cease. I'm not saying you know you know you know pray like this all the time. I'm just saying pray. Just, you know, live a life knowing God's there and being with her with God. So I encourage every single one of y'all to, to like be better witnesses for Christ. Thank you.